am blocked by Vivica A. Fox on Instagram. I still wear her wig every day. That's so insane, Megan. Stop. Hi, my name is Megan. I am an actor and I've been posting my life on the internet. Oh. When did MySpace come out? <laughs> I was gotta have MR on IMs and MySpace. I am a public figure, or as Google puts it, a prominent entity. I am not, however, well known, and that is the way I like it, or I thought I did. I'm a very private person. Here's 24 intimate questions about me, though. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm gonna tackle the bangs on this wig while I answer personal questions that you ask me on social media. Let's get into it. So the first question comes from TikTok and it is, how much do you weigh? I weigh 215 pounds. Thank you for asking. I used to weigh 322 pounds. That was my highest and now I'm at 215. My lowest is 211. I've been yo-yoing back and forth between 215 and 211 for too long. Question number two and question number three. Do you know Will Smith and do you know Margot Robbie? I worked on the movie Focus, did meet Margot. I did not meet Will, but Will did perform like a little private concert. Think about taking the H and O out of Hollywood, putting a W-Y and turn it into Willie Wood. The crazy thing is if I want to, I really could. Um, what it is doing some sort of a performance of mine. Why does your cat throw up? She just gets really excited to live life and to be fed and to be around people and she runs around and gets herself excited and then she eats too fast and throws it back up. It's it was a thing for a minute on TikTok. I did a little video and um, it ended in people like bullying my cats and I was like, absolutely not. We will not be doing that. So Holly doesn't really go on TikTok anymore. Holly said speaking to her is a privilege and TikTok does not have privileges. Do you hear her? Only five questions in and I'm already killing this way. Cool, cool, cool. How do you know Tana Mojo? I was in her OnlyFans DM VIP club. I paid $100 and I got to talk to her. She would reply to my DMs. They were prioritized. It was really cool. I was a huge fan of hers. I am a huge fan of hers. She helped me out of a really tough situation. I was going through it. I was down bad. I had nobody in my corner and Tana was in my corner all summer 2021. That is my girl. I am 11 toes down for her. She told me to get on TikTok. She told me I was funny. Like, I don't even care if she was lying. You know what I mean? Those moments where you feel like you have no one and then all of a sudden like Tana Mojo's in your corner. Like, girl, she's such a champion. I love her. A champion of women and of life. Are you on EDTW? Wait, EDTWT. I don't know what that is, but I probably can't afford it. I'm also not on Ozempic, like Adderall. By the time like a trending thing gets here to New York, like it's it's already sold out across the country and people are making videos about how we're causing problems. So no, um, I can't take DDT or whatever. I wish I could let me know if you have the hookup. I really don't know why this wig is acting like this. I think that Vivica really is mad at me. I think I did something to upset her. And she is using her ultimate power to get back to me but we will keep pushing moving on to questions from youtube what do you feed your cats whatever is on sale can i get a plate i get this on my cooking videos and that's super cute but i don't have leftovers i don't save food like do you see do you see audit like you don't get this from from saving and sharing food you know what i mean so unfortunately there just aren't there's not enough to go around you know i'm a big bitch do you go to church i don't think that i have a church but i do attend church services what was it like being famous on twitter embarrassing <laughs> embarrassing it was a lot of my phone beeping in rooms where phones probably shouldn't be beeping yeah it was just embarrassing it was embarrassing and now that it's x i honestly and now that it's x i think honestly for the first time like since that i feel kind of free <laughs> so thanks elon celebrity crush nick cannon or zach Efron with that star oh my god that's so sexy him getting that walk of walk of walk of fame star Ugh. like zach Efron. i don't even know why i said nick cannon this zach Efron doll literally has weave from this wig <laughs> entangled in his legs because he sits real life on my shelf over there zach Efron is my celebrity crush how many tattoos and piercings do you have? Ooh, okay. Um, I have 10 ear piercings, a nose piercing, both nipples done, 
I've had my belly button done, I think four times, but maybe it's three. At two Ys, ankle, thigh, thigh, hips, ribs, back, other thigh, arm, arm, hand, hand, 17, I don't know. It's really hard to keep track. Okay, 18. I think the answer is 18, but I usually say 17 because I got one of these in two separate sessions, but so sometimes I count it as one and sometimes I count it as two, but it is technically two separate tattoos. So I believe 18, so 18 and 13, so 31 in total. My favorite might be, might be like Elsa. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I think a lower setting is, is really helping this wig. I turned it down from 25 to 20 and it's really made a difference. What work have you got done? So I got my eyes done. These are brand new 2020 Vision PRK eyes. I had braces, that's it. And the Pfizer vaccines, baby. Do you pay for your hotels? Yes. If I'm working for a company and there's like a million dollars backing my every move, then obviously they put me up in hotels. But when I'm doing it for myself, I've actually never been gifted a hotel room. I do have a Hilton honors membership and I do earn rooms. I've been gifted several balconies by Hilton actually, but not whole rooms. I'm not ungrateful at all. Like I will literally pay for my Hilton room because they make me feel so safe. Like I know I'm good. Once I get to the Hilton, no matter what the day has been like on the road, I know I'm good. Did you hook up with Wiz Khalifa? First of all, awesome rumor for me. I'm loving that journey for me. No, I think this probably stems from, I went to go see Hala Mega, the Weezer Fallout Boy Green Day collab festival in Wisconsin. And the next day I drove to Colorado and he, Wiz had just left Colorado. So all the weed stores I was going into only had shape left and I thought that was so funny that I started telling all of my friends that was Khalifa's concert had sold out all the weed in the city in Colorado that I was in which was true because I had been to like five or six dispensaries looking for the thing that I wanted and I had seen that literally everyone only had shake containers left and so when I asked what happened they said it was Wiz's concert last night so I shared that with my friends in Tanner Mojo because I thought she'd find that funny too but no I've never been met Wiz so not against it though again love this rumor for me are you single sure am <laughs> this is the question that i am asked the most hands down across all platforms do you have an only fans will you get an only fans you need an only fans what's your only fans obviously i talked earlier <laughs> about how i used to be a member of tana's only fans dm but no i do not <laughs> currently still have an OnlyFans. I literally got it because Tana was like, if you join my VIP, we can be best friends. You can talk to me all day long. And it was true. I did. And we did. Number 18. Did you throw the lemon at Ariana? No, I would never throw a lemon at Ariana. I live and breathe Ariana Grande music. Break up with your boyfriend was one of my favorite songs when y'all were tripping, talking about how could Ari do this, something, something, whatever. Like she, she told you, she told you she tells you in the song break up with your boyfriend she was bored well you can tell people anything and they're gonna hear what they want to hear i love that for her but no i did not throw the lemon at ariana i do like to say that i did attend the last good coachella lemon weekend not in sync weekend because by the time i got my coachella tickets for 2019 coachella i had to get weekend two because i'd never been to coachella before and that's how it works if you've never been to coachella you're probably going to get weekend two because you get priority once you've been there for weekend one because that's obviously the better weekend the premier weekend and ariana brought out in sync the first weekend and then the second weekend she did not bring out in sync so you know moving on to instagram the only question i ever get asked on instagram is wow great pick please check dms i created a facebook in like 2006 because i went to college my senior year of high school and when facebook first started you had to be in college to be on facebook you had to link your university email it was only for college students so i wasn't able to get it until 2006 when i went to college so i've literally had the same facebook account since then i had instagram when it started when zuck took and bought it whatever 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 last year in 2022 a good friend of mine ex of mine whatever you want to call it he left this world he left us it was very sad this man had worked his entire life in the industry all he wanted to do was be respected and make enough money to take care of his newly growing family he passed away unverified this man had been on broadway okay this man sings your favorite childhood song you know what i mean like there's a whole generation of people 
people who don't even know that that was a cover song. You know what I mean? And he died unverified and I really didn't like that. So I pointed it out and I took some screenshots and I put them on my story and I didn't think anything of it and I think that Zuck didn't like that but I, I don't care. Um, because you know what happened was a few minutes after the news broke that he passed away, they verified him posthumously. So I have had a lot of issues with Instagram since then and I truly believe that even though like when I was on tour I would never post I went on eight national tours and did a bunch of TV shows and movies and I wasn't posting so that's fine when I did like come to social media my Instagram posts just don't get seen and I feel like it is because you know what I mean like I'm verified on Google um, but not Instagram and I think that it is because I called out Zuck and Boozy does it all the time and it's not good for him and I feel like that's what happened to me but that's fine I don't care I don't care. Of course you care, Megan. You just rambled about it for two minutes. No, I don't. I'm just explaining like why. The only people that ever reach out to me on Instagram is bots and it's fine. This is why. And it's worth it. I'm never gonna waver on the fact that why didn't you verify him? You know who the fuck that was. You know who that was. So we know that they know who that was. You know what I mean? Anyway, that doesn't matter because like I said, I am verified on Google. The last five questions are the questions that are asked of me most on Google. Number 19, what is your height? I am five foot eight. Wait, jeez, I'm still 215 pounds. Net worth, cute, it's... <laughs> It's definitely not the one to five million dollars that they say. We'll just leave it at that. Husband. I don't have one. Um, who is Megan Rusky's husband? She doesn't have one. But if you are generous and have at least six figures and are looking for an heir, let me know. I'm available for discussion. The side view right now, I had it. I feel like I had it and I kept messing with it and I lost it. I feel like I really have to stop before I kill this. So the last question, what does Megan Rusky do? Right now, YouTube. But I started as a basketball dancer. I almost burnt my finger. Started as a basketball dancer, then off off Broadway, then came anonymous blog fame. I was in the Ringling Brothers Circus, eight national tours, in season seven of Orange is the New Black. I am an ice detainee. I hiked the Oregon Trail. I traveled the entire Route 66, and most recently, I was interviewed in Rolling Stone. Thank you for watching this video. Thoughts and prayers to my wig, please. Please like this. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to. That one to five million is not real, okay? I don't even have one to five dollars right now. Things are, you know, you're living it too. So um, if you like my stuff, consider giving me a follow and I will see you next time.